Hey y'all, so this video is all about getting you a job before you graduate college. So I have five tips. These things can help you get a job before you graduate or maybe even before you start your senior year of college. Sorry, I have the list on my phone so I'm just gonna be checking it. Also, I just wanted to say that even if you don't graduate with a even if you don't secure a job before you graduate, there's nothing wrong with that. It's not the end of the world, so don't think that you are doing any worse than your peers or your friends. Things fall into place at different times, and these tips are kind of to help you find something faster, so that way if you want like more of a stress-free senior year, and you want to party it up, or not. Don't ever say party it up like I just did, because, yeah. The first tip I have, number one, is to get involved. Getting involved is really important on campus. You want to show people that it's not just you out there looking out for yourself. I know it's really easy to get caught up into kind of your everyday academic life, hanging out with your friends, but it's really important to get involved into other things. That way you can make more connections and you can find different types of things that you're passionate about. And these things will shine through on your resumes and your cover letters and during your interviews. I really suggest becoming involved as fast as you can and it doesn't have to be a lot of things just a couple things that you're really passionate about really dive in spend a lot of time and effort on that particular activity or club or sport or whatever it is you might be doing however don't let those things take over what you're there for at college ideally you're there at college to get an education while finding things to be involved in is really important so is your academics and don't let all of your clubs and activities take over that but my tip number two is to start your resume early and then just add to it as you accomplish more things as you join more activities or you feel like there are important characteristics or attributes that you have worked on that way if you start it early on either your sophomore year junior year when you start applying to places all you have to do is tweak a couple things having your resume done early and using it as a template, it really just cuts back on the time and effort that it takes to prepare for job applications. My third tip is to utilize your career center. Now this is for your resume, like I said if you start that early you're already in a good place as far as your resume, but your career center is going to help you fine tune that, it's going to help you figure out what to say, what not to say to best represent yourself and your accomplishments and your capabilities. And it is also going to help you with your cover letters when you're applying for specific jobs. It'll also... Comment below how many times I say also, it's ridiculous. It'll help you with finding connections and networking to companies that you may not have thought about. They also might help you with finding internships and externships. They also will provide interview practice. Um, interview practice is really, really, really helpful. Part of my favorite part of my internship that I had was we focused a lot on interview skills and at the end of the internship when we had our interview for the, the big guys of the company, practices came in handy and boy am I telling you, like, they were great and I nailed the interview and I got a job and life was great senior year. Well, my next tip kind of like builds off of this. Um, so it's still part of number three is to try to get an internship or an externship. And this isn't like, kind of like the end all be all, but it is really helpful if you know specifically you want to work for a company. My fourth tip is to network. This can start as early as you get to college and it's not even honestly about ne just networking with professionals. It's also about connecting to your professors, your administrators, any clubs you're in, sometimes parents or adults involved in your community might have certain connections and honestly it's just about being polite staying connected and if there's any chance that, that person you're connected to might help you in the future exchange numbers and be transparent with them you don't want to make them feel like they're being used for anything so it's definitely important to keep those relationships as they might come in handy later and you might just meet some really awesome friends along the way so my very last tip is to apply 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 so even if it's something that you are not so sure about and you're really not sure if you want to do it um, I say still apply because the worst that can happen is that you practice tailoring your resume and your cover letter to that specific 
position and you practice your interview skills and if you do not get an offer you can always reach out to the company and ask questions such as was there anything better I could have done on my resume or my cover letter or during the interview maybe definitely take it as a learning experience so yes apply 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 and kind of building off of that if you get an offer and you really just know you're not going to like it Turn it down. Don't feel pressured to take the first offer that comes to you just because you're afraid of graduating without a position. It would be much better for you to make sure that you find something that fits you, fits what you want in your future, and you feel comfortable in rather than jumping into a position that you just hate, you don't like what you're doing at all. You end up not fulfilling your full potential because you're not happy or you're enjoying it. However, if you're on the fence, you're not really sure, you don't know what you want to do with your future, you're still exploring options after graduation, I say definitely take an offer. If you don't absolutely hate it, take it, see where it leads you, take advantage of the opportunities the company provides, go from there. Maybe you end up falling in love with a profession you never thought you'd see yourself in. You want to be excited about your future. So just to recap really quickly, the first step is to get involved. The second step is to start your resume early and then just add to it in the coming years of college. The third step is to utilize your career center. Your fourth step is to network and your fifth step is to apply to lots of places to really test out the waters. And uh, yeah, so long story short, so do these five things and hopefully you can get a job before you start your senior year or to so do these five things and hopefully you can get a job before you graduate college. Best of luck to you. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're looking forward to any more videos on college life, college advice, post-grad advice, and more. Thanks!